Is there a reason for Unify will not share Questions financial? Please don't. Is, please is, please don't I'm, I'm allowed to speak. Is there is there a reason for Unify will not share financial data, data such as our three hour meeting we had yesterday, and the CFO refused to give us that information? As we discussed previously, everything that is required to uh, generate a financial data has been provided. Um, both parties, you know, prior to the fact finding panel, have been given that information and have given the opportunity to collaborate with one another. Um, why that emphasis on fact finding has not been a priority, I can't speak to. I do not have the luxury of negotiating at 140 characters at a time over Twitter. The lives of our students, our families, and the community are at stake. It's not about rhetoric. It's about getting to a place where we can chart a path going forward. If people would consider something like a non-disparagement clause going forward on both fronts, and that was something that people would be willing to consider, then maybe we could have that discussion in a more productive venue. But right now, after 15 months, we find ourselves where we are. It's frustrating. If I believe that all of that was sincere, and the desire was not to push toward rhetoric, I think we would continue to stay in space. We absolutely have to move to the fact-finding phase to make sure that we have truth around which all parties can talk. An emergency resolution for the strike because there are things in the, that the community definitely need to know about that. Um, they, are, they are characterizing teachers that would strike as criminals by uh, alluding to the fact that they might vandalize property that they may trespass or impede the way of students. The only person that's ever talked about a contentious picket line has been Superintendent Nelson. And to, again, I, to characterize teachers that way as if we would somehow be contentious towards our students is, is absolutely ridiculous.